West Indies took that series by three tests and nil. Now I suppose cricket students of the future will find it very odd that one of the most graceful and gracious of all their tanders only played in 23 tests. But Graham Pollock was kept out largely by the political situation in South Africa. He was a record breaker with ease. In fact, he scored a first class century before he was 17 and he made the record South African test score of 274. He played little in England except in the Sunday matches of the Cavaliers, but he did appear in that makeshift test series for the rest of the world against England in 1970. And even there he left it late because it wasn't in the fifth test that he scored that 114 that stamped his quality on English memories. It's going to be four runs. No chance of Wilson cutting it off. It's quite a strange happening, that. Pollock hit it very well, perfectly timed, just leaning into the stroke, right in the middle of the bat. And you'll see when Pollock plays the shot, just hitting it wide of lever. And watch the ball as it goes down there, wide of lever's right hand, hits the stump there. Now, doesn't dislodge the bail, which at that pace is extraordinary and runs away to the mid-off boundary. Peter Lever. It put him down. Colin Cowdery and Alan Knott coming across there. Not in front of Cowdery, but moving towards Cowdery's right hand. That'll be marked down as a miss to Cowdery. But let's have a look and see just what happened with Alan Knott. Yes, and there he is, making that move with the left hand. He has a slip, and then he has five on the onside, so he's going to bowl, or going to try and bowl to Pollock's supposed weakness round about leg stump. Left arm around the wicket. That's not the place to bowl, because every time you do that, it's four runs. He's slanting across Pollock, and that stroke has given Pollock his half century. He takes him on now to 53. What a great shot. 50 partnership up, two fine strokes, and you just can't bowl there if you're going to bowl left arm around the wicket to Graham Pollock. You've got to be bowling round about leg stump if you're going to come on that angle. Otherwise, the result is that he just stands away from the ball and thrashes it through the covers like that. It's safe and four runs. shot they're scattering in the crowd there straight up over the top of the rope it's driven fiercely and straight back it's a chaser of a lever he's just going to be unlucky A superb shot, no hesitation, no doubt about that by anybody. Dropped just slightly short of a length. It wasn't all that short, but Pollock immediately onto the back foot, hammering it through. That's a fine shot, that's gone through the covers for four runs. Just the one slip, the only fieldsman near the wicket. And five on the offside, all looking to save first of all a single and then the boundary. We well, set that off round about middle and off. If I'd been bowling out there, Ted, I don't think I'd have been very happy to see that. Pollock really picking the open space. He's, I think he'd rather set his stall, said, Well, there's nobody around there. First opportunity, give it a crack, and he just happens to be good enough to middle it.
Oh, what a good delivery. And look at Lever. Have you ever seen such pleasure on a young fella's face? Candidate for the Australian Tour. And that one delivery might well have bowled him into it. Even when they batted together, it was hard to choose between Garfield Sobers and Graham Pollock. But it was Pollock who scored the century that gave the rest of the world that match by four wickets and the series by four to one. Now another.